Hello and welcome back to this channel. And as you can see, my new studio is finished. Kinda. But today on this episode, we're gonna talk about retrobriting. And as you can see, my stuff desperately needs it. Except for this over here. This is just to show you the difference between what it's supposed to look like and not supposed to look like. Like this big 20 here, it's supposed to be completely white, but as you can see, it has really brownish yellow stripes on it. Now I've seen a lot of people on their videos how they retrobrite their stuff, but it's always in the United States. And they have different brands, different names for their products. And it goes with the same of other countries like France and Spain and Germany, all different brands and names. So I thought to myself, why not show you how you can do it in Denmark, the Danish style. Now before we start rich bright anything, I thought we should make this a little more interesting. I found this Omega 600 outside in the rain of dirt and cobweb and it's actually broken. I can see, I can see inside it, ooh. And this thing definitely needs a lot of help. Now we actually have the previous owner of this Omega 600 in our studio. So tell us, what happened to this? Yeah, well, it, we had an accident. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I understand it came from the basement, water damage and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. But mm -hmm. the, this has cobweb and dirt, so this must have a terrible life in the basement. And... I guess so, yeah. yeah, yeah. Guess you know, I actually looked closer to this and I couldn't understand why this thing was so glossy. And then I looked at mine and then I realized this thing has been spray painted. Oh, yeah. Did, did you guys spray paint this? Uh, no. No? We did not. Okay, that was the previous owner again. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was. Yeah. There's actually a heart disk in here, I can tell. And uh, I don't know if it's working, but uh, here comes the question. Should we try to give this a second chance in life? Yeah, definitely. Try to restore it back to its glory like this? If possible. If yeah. possible. Yeah. Well, let's go on our journey then. Now, before we start working on the Omega 600, I want to show you what we're going to use for retrobriting. We're going to use something called Brentoilte, which translates to hydrogen peroxide. I bought this at a place called Stack, but you can also buy this one, which is basically the same thing. And this you can buy at shops called Metes, which costs a little more, but it's closer to the cities. And we're also going to use four of these UV lights. These were very cheap, and I can use them in the future projects. Now you can use sunlight outside, but in Denmark, most of the time it's just gray weather and raining. Now while we're working on the Omega 600, I also want to try out these products here. And yes, this is toothpaste and mouthwash. I saw a YouTuber actually try toothpaste, but I wasn't satisfied because he didn't use retrobriding and I wanted to see what would happen if we tried it. So we're gonna do it. Now we're going to use all of these as test subjects and no one says it has to be only for computers. We're gonna use all different types. These things are filthy. We're gonna use a toothbrush for this and start cleaning. It's important that we clean every corner of it. That way we get a perfect retrobrite. Yes, and we're gonna start with the, the tube and the mouthwash. What we're gonna do is, we're going to uh, cover half of it because we want to see if we can just retrobrite only this part without the, the other parts. Then we're going to take it down here and retrobrite it from the bottom. And we're going to do the same thing with the mouthwash. And now with these two, we're going to try vanish. And this is basically just powder for washing clothes. And the same here. This was uh, actually hard to get, but we got a little, and as you can see, it's a little gooish. Now we're gonna start with mouthwash. Just a little, not too much. Now we're gonna put some toothpaste on it to get good contact. Even in the bottom, and then it's all gonna get mixed with the water. And we're just gonna use our finger to mix it with the water. I might have put too much in here. 
Oh well. And again, we're just gonna use our finger to mix this. And now we're just gonna leave it for 20 hours. And now we're going to disassemble the Omega 600. I wonder what's on this floppy disk. Well, we'll find out later. It is always a good idea to take a picture of the keyboard before you disassemble it. Now I'm going to use this special key remover. Everyone should have one. Now just looking at this, you can tell this thing has been staring at the sun for a long time. Now this is just nasty and dirt. Now before we wash these keys, we have to take all the metal off or else it'll just get rusty. And some good old soap in the water. Now this is going to take some time because I'm going to clean each of these keys to make certain all the dirt is off. And now we're going to retrobrite them. Now I'm not going to put too much in it. Now if you notice, they're all upside down and I did that on purpose so the lights can hit it from the bottom. Now we have to clean this board and we're going to use something called Sprit, which translates to alcohol. I think I'm gonna use my handhold vacuum cleaner. Now that should do the job. And now we're going to clean it. Oh, this is much nicer now. And now we have to see the results of our little experiment. Let's start with Vanish. Well, Vanish did a great job as you can see, so it is possible to retrobrite with Vanish. And then we have Fanula, volume 40. It also did a great job, but I knew this would work because this is actually what they use in the United States. And as you can see on the mouthwash, it actually did an okay job. It could do better if we leave it for another 20 hours and we let the liquid of the mouthwash have more room to circulate around it because in the original one, it was all the way down to the bottom so the mouthwash couldn't get to this part here. So that's one thing we have to think about. And then we come to the part I've been waiting for, toothpaste. And as you can see, it's the same as mouthwash. It did an okay job and we could leave it for another 20 hours to make it even more. Now it's not practical to use these four products for retrobrite. This was just an experiment to see if it was possible. And as you can see, it is, kind of. But if you really want it to be retrobrited, just stick with this. And then you're guaranteed it will work. Now let's check our keys and see how they're doing. I'm totally blown away how white this thing came out. It's even whiter than my Omega 600. Even the gray is better looking. It's a good thing I took a picture of it so I could line it up and it'll be easier to put them back on the keyboard. Now this will take some time to put back on. And here we can totally see the difference. Now before we plug power to this, let's make sure that all the connection work by using our Omega 600 that we know that works. And as you can see, we have a connection and it seems to be working, all the cables. Now let's try the next one. Okay, now let's see if we can uh, Turn this on and hope no smokes comes up. Well, there's a green light and uh, there's some sort of signal, but I think there's a problem with the video chip signal. Maybe the CPU, I don't know. I think this is here where I'm going to need a little help with this one. I think I better call my big brother and see if we can uh, fix this. We're gonna start with by doing an inspection. Now we're going to clean all the microchips, the ones that can come off, so we'll have a good connection. 
And we're going to solder anything that needs it. And there's still nothing. We're going to attempt to remove this chip and take the good one onto the bad board. And still nothing. Now we're going to try use the old chip on my Omega 600 to see if it works. And as we can see, it seems to be working. So there's nothing wrong with this chip. Now we're going to continue to see if we can find the problem. And we can see there's a little corrosion here, which we're going to clean now. And testing to see if there's any bad connections. Now there seems to be some corrosion here, which needs to be cleaned. And, and still no change. Now when I came home, I looked at the schematics and I started to think that maybe it could be the RAM or as it's called the flash memory. So we're trying to remove one of the flash memories to see if that would work. And the results are still the same. Then we tried removing both of the flash memories. And again, the same results. Now we came to the conclusion that we need to replace all of these components. So we went on eBay and bought these components for the Omega 600. Now here my brother mentions that he's going to remove all the big components first before we go to the small components. And we still couldn't get it to work. Some of these components are hard to get off. Captain And some requests a little special attention. It appears that we fixed one problem, but it still wouldn't turn on. We tried and tried and tried again. And now we come to the end. We just can't get it to work. But it's not over yet. This will give us a chance to actually experiment to get this paint off this plastic cover. Now this cover is already a little broken. Now we can see here some of the paint has chipped off. Now we're going to attempt to use nail polish here. Now I'm going to attempt to see if I can get some of this paint off. I'm going to leave some of this nail polish on top of it for one minute to give it a chance to get into the paint. Now it seems to be working, but this is really hard work just to get some paint off. We're going to have to try something else. But first we have to take this off before we try anything else. Now I'm using something here called spray stripper. Now I know this is a bad idea, but we're going to try it anyway. And then we're just going to leave it for one minute. And then we're going to try to scrub it off. Well, we got half of the paint off, sort of. Well, now that we've tried Spray Stripper, I can now confirm that we should never use it on the Amir computer because it's made of plastic itself and the paint is plastic. Now, to be fair, it did warn us not to use it on plastic, but this is why I made this video so you don't have to. Now, I did try to use nail polish again to see if I could get more stuff off, but I came to the conclusion it was just too much work. Now, if you have some little paint on your Omega computer or something else, you can use nail polish to get it off. It's the best choice right now. But you came to see a computer get retrobrited. So we're going to retrobrite my VIC-20. First, we have to put some weight on or else it will just float to the surface. Now here, I'm only pouring about half of the bottle. And I have to get all the bubbles out. And here, we're going to leave it for 24 hours. Now, as you can see here, there's lots of bubbles all over. That means it's working. 
Before I put this in the water, I actually took a picture of it so you and I could see the difference. And what a difference it is. Now this looks completely brand new. I am totally blown away the way this came out. I mean, just look at it, it's beautiful. But we have to get on with the show. So we now have to present the Omega 600 to our guest in the studio. So uh, welcome back. Thank you. Yeah. Are you ready to see the results of all the work that's been put into this? I'm very excited. Yes. Are you very excited? Yeah. Are you sure you're ready? I'm ready. Whoa. <laughs> okay, wow. Whoa, holy crux. So what do you think? I think it, it looks uh, gold. And, uh, this could actually be the first Omega that's uh, in gold. Yeah. Well, it's, it's fake gold, of course. Oh, okay. But do you remember how dark and brown these used to be? They were actually kind of gold, uh, but not that shiny. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but now comes the, the most important question. Okay. Does this Omega 600 work? I hope so. Well, let's find out. Yeah. Wow. I think it does. And no, it does. No. Ah. Okay. Damn. Okay. I'm sure someone out there who uh, is looking at this can actually say uh, know exactly what's wrong with it. But uh, we tried all the different things and stuff. Okay. But uh, we could send it to someone we know who works on Commodore, but we already wasted so much money on this and time. Yeah. So one day we'll send this to the person and see if they can fix it. Okay. So right now it could be like spare parts and stuff like that. I would love to uh, play Golden Axe on this. Well, uh, we still have the other Omega 600 that works. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now, if you want to know what's on this diskette, you can go to our Twitter or Facebook site and find out for yourself. So once again, thank you for watching and see you on the next episode.